Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We're coming off of what was a very wet weekend. We've had a lot of dry weather recently, and we made up for a big time for many locations over the weekend, Friday night and again Saturday night, and a little bit of uh, rain to add on top of it yesterday in a couple of locations. Uh, again, we had a little bit of flooding in some spots. That was a big problem, and some severe weather also caused some issues with some large hail and also some damaging winds in a few spots, but most of you out there saw just a good rain, a good soaking that we really uh, did need. So it was unfortunate for some, but for most, I think it was fairly uh, a fortunate situation out there but it's looking at the weather in the next couple of days we do get a chance to dry out now a mild start to our day behind our system a cold front a mild dry weather moving in so a nice warm and not hot day looking at temperatures in the 70s and 80s for high should be very nice the winds are gonna be a bit breezy those northerly winds bringing in that cooler drier air they, they could be as high as 10 to 20 miles per hour the strongest winds in the eastern part of the state Maybe a couple of extra clouds out towards the west, but most of us seeing mainly sunny skies. Tonight, radiational cooling with light winds, that cool Canadian high pressure building in. It's going to be a, almost a chilly start to the day, especially to the northeast where we could see some upper 40s, most of us dipping back into the 50s. Wherever those clouds end up, which I think they're a little too far east on future cast here, but wherever they end up will be a little bit warmer. Uh, thanks to almost like a blanket, uh, so to speak, with those uh, clouds. Maybe even a couple of sprinkles or light showers with those as well. But they should clear out. We should see mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. A warm one expected for your Tuesday, but not hot again. Very similar to what we'll see out there for today, but with less wind out there. Winds will be much lighter for your Tuesday with that high pressure in control. So for today, we're looking at temps mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees up north. Now towards the west, a little warmer, mid to or low to mid 80s. A few more clouds possible, lighter winds also in the west. Looking to the south here, we're looking at low to mid 80s, mainly sunny skies into the east, upper 70s and lower 80s. Winds a little bit breezier, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your extended forecast, temperature-wise, the next uh, six days or so, low to mid 80s for highs. The next couple of nights down into the 50s, and then they'll be back up into the 60s after that. But again, dry conditions, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I think most of Wednesday night will likely be dry. There's a slight chance after midnight. That slight chance continues into your Thursday. But by Thursday night, continuing through your Friday, that's going to be our best chance of rain. Thursday night through Friday night, and then possibly into even Saturday as well. I think by Saturday night, our chances are pretty low. Sunday, we're looking at drier conditions. And that's where more heat starts to build in, upper 80s for your Sunday. And we may see a little more heat going into next week. A lot more 90s could be returning uh, by next week. So for this week, very nice temperature-wise out there. Uh, could see some more heavy rainfall by the end of the week, maybe some isolated severe weather. Could be very similar to this past weekend here, uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, as we get a little bit closer, we'll get a little bit better idea of timing and, and who exactly has the best chances of that precipitation. But for now, again, enjoy the next couple of days. I think we'll have a great start to this upcoming week. So that is your forecast for this Monday. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you enjoy your day.